So this tiger found roaming around a Houston neighborhood earlier in the month is now in some new hands. Uh, yes, the tiger was finally found over the weekend and now it's adjusting to its new home. Our Vincent Crivelli is live at the Fort Bend County Jail where the suspect in this case sits. Uh, Vincent, what's the latest with the tiger? Elisa, good morning. The suspect's attorney continues to claim that his client is not the owner of the tiger. But today, one thing is for sure, the big cat is waking up in a North Texas animal sanctuary where he'll live out the rest of his life. But we got him and he's healthy. The search is over. The nine-month-old Bengal tiger India was turned over and taken to the Cleveland Amory Black Beauty Ranch. He will be introduced into a half acre naturally wooded habitat with a pool, trees, platform. India turned over by his owner who at this time is not facing any charges. The owner identified by HPD as the wife of Victor Cuevas. Cuevas the man police say placed the tiger in a white SUV and sped off last Sunday, Cuevas' attorney saying that's false. I'm just baffled as to why HPD uh, has to try to make statements to fit a narrative that they want to portray. Neither one of those two were the owner. Linda Mackingvale, the wife of Mattress Mac, helped assist law enforcement in India's rescue. In a statement, she said, at Club Westside, we are a licensed facility with exotic animals and the Quavoses had visited as guests of a past member where we became acquainted. She went on to say, I was able to arrange through the help of the Quavoses for the tiger to be located and anonymously delivered to us where Bar was on standby to receive. Owning a tiger in Houston is illegal. However, they are allowed in Harris County if registered. We are always pushing for stronger laws in Texas that would ban this outright. And Victor Cuevas remains behind bars on a $300,000 bond. His attorney says he does not expect any additional charges because of the tiger. Reporting live from the Fort Bend County Jail, Vincent Crivelli, KPRC, 2 News. Vince, thank you for the latest there.